Hello and welcome back everybody to another episode of Single Player Tarkov. We are here on Interchange today. We are going to try to complete Database Part 1. I don't know how it's going to go because we have had a rough couple episodes. So hopefully we can uh, kind of get it turned around. Okay, we're just going to make our way in here. Okay, ice that guy. Let's head over here. Oh my good lord. And we're just gonna shut that. I will take your backpack. Okay. So now, hopefully, hopefully we do okay. Um, I've been playing a lot of other things uh, for the channel. Yeah, there we go. We're just gonna put that in there. Um, yeah, I've been playing a lot of other things for the channel. Um, I got done uh, Wolfenstein, started Titanfall 2, that's a second GPU, okay. Thought I heard someone. Um, So yeah, been playing a lot of other stuff, a lot of other shooters. Um, I haven't really played Tarkov um, in a little while. I know I've said it uh, before, but I record these videos very far in advance. So I'm a little, I might be a little rusty here, so. Well, you guys can just bear with me today. Okay, just making sure that that's armor. I just all jam it in this big bag anyway. Okay. Stupid flashlight on the pistol. Alright. Give me that. Okay. Just use all that real quick. Oh, 
All right, lovely. So we have to go over to Goshen and Ollie. Lovely. How are we doing? Nearly full. Okay. So let's go loot this guy, and then we'll head through the back. We did get some stuff back from insurance, which is nice. And um, we got our mag case was uh, done being constructed. So uh, that, that helped with uh, our inventory space because we were running real, running real tight for a while. So now, as this episode is being recorded, I just talked to someone um, on one of my other Tarkov videos. I want to say episode 20, um, give you an idea of how far ahead I actually am. Um, I'm not going to be upgrading to 3.8 until the playthrough is uh, complete. Or as far as we're gonna go with it. Um, I figured then I can install everything, get all the mods cooperating, and uh, we'll treat that kind of like a, as a wipe. And we'll start another playthrough. Uh, probably with similar rules, but maybe make it a little bit harder. Um, maybe adapt some of the rules from the RPG series. Because we are a couple episodes into that. Um, I'm still undecided on if I'm going to continue it or not. Um, that is going to depend on how well it's received. But I unfortunately do not know that. As uh, I am recording this. So we'll just have to play that by ear. But by the time this is out, the R RPG series should definitely be out. Um, so pop over, give it a shot, check it out. If you like it, let me know. This way I know whether or not we're going to need to continue that. I don't know what's happening with all the GPUs. It's like a thousand percent I'm going to get murdered. So now we head over. I was waiting for that to be the end. All right. I'm going to duck back in here real quick. We got that topped off. We'll drink that. 
and we'll uh, continue on our way here. Can't believe I didn't bring a flashlight. But as we all know by now, I'm not good at planning ahead. Alright. So, it may be dangerous, but we're gonna go straight across, try to do the shortest distance possible, um, let's get to Ollie, if we make it to Ollie, grab the thing and be out, that is the current plan, we'll see if that actually works. Don't mind me. Everybody just go about your business. Okay. So far we're all right. There you go. I'm going to take that. Hopefully most of the combat has moved on. Oh god. I told you I was rusty. I think we got him. All right, just keep going. I'm pretty sure he's down, but cannot entirely confirm. Not gonna find out either. Sweet, take that. Uh, I could have sworn it was in here.
Alright, it's possible I'm an idiot. It's actually very likely I'm an idiot. Uh, it's probably the computers in the middle, isn't it? Just check here to make sure. Yep, there it is. I don't know what's happening. Just to be clear, I did not alter the, the loot pools or anything, so. All right, let's make our way to the exit. About half in there. Pop outside, see what happens. We got a dead dude out here. Someone's still slinking. Alright, we're just going to try to go.
All right. Job well done. All right. Let's go hand some of these quests in. back we are on factory we have a uh, try to find the escapes here we all know how much I love factory See if I can even remember them all. Okay, med tent. Oh god, there's chaos. Nope, that one's not it. back here. I think it's over here. I know where the third one is, so. Just dead people. Gimme. I'm not even gonna waste time looking at it. Here, someone Coward. knew I heard someone crinkling. What are you doing? Sure, I'll take that. So we're going to need all the shotguns so we can finish that stupid shoreline one.
actually kind of like that stupid ADR. All right, let's just move on. back I think I have figured out why it's so bright in factory because I turn I'm so dumb sometimes I turn the brightness up in Tarkov itself to try to uh, mitigate the crushing darkness Because I know some of the episodes I filmed have were very, very dark. So, I tried to up it in, like, edit. But, um... I couldn't get anything satisfactory from that. So yeah, I just wound up doing it in the in the game itself. It was just like slightly less dark it was the best I could get without upping it in the game. But that was a good factory run. Okay. And welcome back everybody. We are on shoreline. Where the bad ideas never stop. I was trying to avoid Shoreline, but we just have too many quests here. So we're just gonna have to, uh. We're just gonna have to get it together. We got a lot of stuff to do at the resort. We'll pass through the cottage on the way. Still using the MP5 as our main weapon. Um, this stupid shotgun is uh, our backup because we still need to kill scavs with headshots with shotguns. Okay, all good so far. Check this stuff out. Okay, head upstairs. Looks relatively okay.
take some cash. Nothing in there. Okay. Let's head over and check for a cottage key. Head up to the resort. we get inside I forget what rooms we have to go to so I have to take a look I think they're mostly west building God damn it. Get up there. Alright. West 306. I'm about to go down the hallway for that. Mind us, I get off. Here should be Nostalgia, 303. Lovely. Go to the east building for something. Okay. 
But we're gonna pop up on the roof. Yeah, East 313. I forget what is over there. I don't think we actually have to go over there right now. Ugh. I don't know what the hell the first noise was. Alright. Hopefully we got him in, in that actual head. Yeah, red two. We're absolutely goaded. Alright. So we need to head over to the weather station. For those last two jamming missions. Someone's in the resort. I don't feel like trying to find them. We're not even gonna, nope, nope. Absolutely not. We're just gonna run off into the woods.
All right, so let's just keep pushing up here. Hopefully, the uh, the goons are not here. Yep, that's lovely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, that is how it goes on Shoreline. Um, overall, it was a good episode, though. We got a lot of stuff done, a lot of missions, uh, requests complete. So uh, I'm just looking up a lot better than the last couple. Um, as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode. See ya. Cause the night kid's always the first to push the limit.